guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here. Welcome back to another episode of Road to MGB or Road to our Nuke series. Today we're going to be here on Terminal. And I can't remember what episode we're on, but this game is actually nuts. And I don't know why, but I feel like every single time I play a game, it feels like I'm in a ranked match, sweat my ass off. So now that I'm done with my camel grind, which I'll probably maybe talk about in another video... Maybe not. I haven't decided yet. But I have only been using like two guns because I feel like I can only use the MCW or the Holger to actually compete in multiplayer. But that is not what I want to talk about today, guys. But before we get into it, first off, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. And keep in mind that everything I'm about to go over is kind of opinion based. But I want to talk about the CDL and kind of how to make it exciting. So if you guys recall... If I can even recall. I think it was like an IW or BO3. I'm thinking it was BO3. Whatever they had the specialist. I think. I could be getting it wrong. But I don't think it will affect my point too much. They had a ban system whenever you would like pick your specialist or operator for the specialist ability. What if that was sort of incorporated in a way into the CDL nowadays. What if there is a ban and protect system, and I'm not talking about the maps and modes ban system that's already in place. I'm talking about like for equipment, uh, kill streaks, field upgrades, weapons, guns, you name it. All of the things that you need to make a class and basically set your shit up. I think it would be really cool. Now granted, this is just, think about it. If you had a team of four versus four, and I don't know how exactly this would work. It would obviously need like tweaking of some sort or I don't know how they would decide who gets to pick what. But here is my thought. If each team of four got four band slash protections to use on, like I said, weapons, killstreaks, grenades, lethals, tacticals, attachments even, that would make everything so much more interesting. Now, hear me out. Let's say, for example, Optic just absolutely hates the smoke grenade because that's a lot of talk right now. And they're going up against FaZe. And let's just say FaZe has a worse record for whatever reason. I don't think that's actually ever going to be the case. Even as an Optic fan, FaZe has just been real, real solid the last couple of years. But let's say FaZe has a worse record and they know that Optic hates the fucking smoke. So FaZe gets the first choice to either ban or protect an item. And they choose smoke. So you know Optic's are already pissed on the other side. So going into that match, these teams are already going to be like heated. And they're already going to have some beef with each other just because you're like, oh, you son of a bitch. Like, you know we hate that. You chose it anyway. Then going on the flip side, like I don't know if it would make more sense to have the CDL dictate what is and is not allowed to be used by the pros in the CDL league, or if the CDL just stays out of everything completely and everything is free game, essentially. I think, like, aside from the kill streaks, uh, potentially I think that would work, because if someone does go on a tear with a kill streak, I think that would kind of ruin it. So I think the kill streaks would have to have, you know, pre limits on their choices but just think about it there needs to be more shit talking like other than scrap in the league right now there is not a whole lot of like shit talking or excitement going on more or less i think if people were able to ban stuff it would make everything way better because you're going to get teams that are going to troll the other team and then on the flip side of it, let's say that for some odd reason, every SMG gets banned. So now in this particular match that we have set up, it's going to be so like rush heavy or sniper heavy or one way or the other. We're not going to see the same game mode, maps, and play style. Weekend after weekend, you know, match after match, we're not going to see the same guns. And I feel like for highlights, it's going to be great. 
for the environment going up to the game, like knowing that you now have to, as a team, kind of scout your opponent a little bit more and a little bit more in depth, like that puts a lot of more, one, it's a lot of work for the teams and the coaches, but, you know, just like any other sport, you already have to scout the other team that you're playing, and I know they already do that, and they watch film and gameplays and their scrims and all that. Like, they know how these teams play. But now, if you know that a certain team performs better or worse with an item, and you're hoping that you can, you know, count on that to help you get the edge, and then they can go ahead and, like, screw you guys over right back, no match would ever be the same. And the fans watching it would know that. They would sit there watching this ban protect draft system going on and they'd be like okay what is what are they going to do today what are they trying to mix up what is different what is new today like there needs to be something and i'm not saying the cdl is dying and i'm not saying that anything needs to change i'm just saying it would be very interesting and honestly like personally i would love to see that myself but that's just me we need some more excitement. We need some more heat. I honestly want to know what you guys think. I want this kind of get like expanded on, if at all possible. And I also want to know if I'm wrong. I need. I should have looked up uh, if this was ever a thing other than BO3. And honestly, like, we kind of missed a specialist, right? Or no? Like, the abilities? Like, they were so OP, but... Like, even for the highlight reels, like, if someone had a specialist and they died using it to someone with just a gun, like, the crazy moments where the fans go wild, like, I just don't know. For personally, myself, like, I was so, 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 like, gung-ho, and I've gotten into the CD a lot more in the last couple of years, but I remember just back in the day when I was, like, first starting, like, watching it super intently, and then going into, like, the IW and BO3 and, like, Advanced Warfare area, like, those games are really exciting to watch. The jetpacks and the movements and the specialists and all that. And now, with the Modern Warfare series, a lot of, it, <coughs> excuse me, the Modern Warfare series, like, the engine's the same and the movement's the same. Like, it all feels kind of like the same game. You know, that might be part of it, but if there was ever a chance to spice it up, and, I mean, you could keep the system in, year after year and it still be different because there's still guns like the holger and this snaking talk and i don't know how you would ban snaking they're actually working on a fix currently to kind of nerf it a little bit but for all this stuff going on like it's going to be different weapons and stuff every year that's going to be op or not op but just to make it different i think is the the key and to make it more exciting to watch and i don't know maybe watching versus playing is kind of like where you draw the line maybe it's like too difficult to do or incorporate or play but i mean if we are talking like the pros should be able to adapt and overcome and more or less put on a show like at the end of the day it's entertainment right i mean that's what most professional sports are if this is what this is classified as but they're supposed to be the best of the best they should be able to like adapt and all that but, I don't know. But going back to the GA part, this is the other downside. Like, I'm keeping an open mind as I think about this because, again, it's just a thought that I had and I thought it was an interesting topic. Like, I don't know if this was a thing. Like, if the GA versus the Banner Protect system, like, were to come in place, like, if this was a thing, would everyone just agree, be like, okay, we're going into this match, everyone just ban all these eight items? And both teams would already have, like, an agreement on knowing what they were going to do. Or they actually, like, stick to it and not communicate with the other team and not agree. But let's just say that throughout the league, like, we weakened one, major one. Everyone, they have this system in place. They said, hey, this is what we're not going to use. This is what we all agreed to not using. Whatever. Just because somebody feels like it, they're like, nah, they can agree before the match starts, but as soon as the match starts, they just start the shit show. Like, everyone agrees not to use the Holger, 
And then round one, some team out there protects it. And I was like, nope, fuck you, we're using it. And then the whole league is going to, like, go up in smoke. And it's just going to add a bunch of, like, it's just going to add a show, more or less. Like, oh, we had an agreement. We were going to ban this. And now everyone has the whole group. Like, I don't know. I just think it's a good idea. And I would love to see something like that incorporated with it, guys. But... I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, I appreciate you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe again. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, they can win here. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh. Yeah.